Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's talk about Baldur's Gate 3 and how to mod it on your Steam Deck Steam OS. We're going to be using BG3 Mod Manager and Script Extender. It's a, it's a mod. Okay, so I've actually done a video already showing you how to install BG3 Mod Manager on your Steam Deck. I'll link this video in the description. Make sure you follow that if you haven't installed it already. It's required. I'm not going to like repeat it here. Uh, you can follow that video. After I made that video, a lot of people have been like commenting um, they want Script Extender. And I don't really play Baldur's Gate 3. I know it's a good game, but it's just not my type of game. So um, I didn't really know what that was. And then I did some research. So I went to Nexus Mods and here it is. Norbyte's Baldur's Gate 3 Script Extender. And if you go to the description, you check the requirements. The mods requiring this file. So these are all the mods that require script extender. So now I understand why a lot of people uh, want to add this mod. So here it is. I'm going to make a video showing you how to do it. Okay. So let's get started. So I assumed you already followed my previous video and installed BG3 Mod Manager. You should be here uh, with the Lutris. And we're just going to launch BG3 Mod Manager. And I think I did a demo um, mod. It's the horn one. Yeah, this one, Horns of Faroon. All right, so let's just move the, this is active mods. This side is the active mods. I'm just gonna drag it over to the inactive. So I'm just going to disable the mods first. Okay, I'm gonna disable that. This is the Horns of Faroon, all right. And these are the like the dependency mods. So this is actually one mod. Okay, so let's just boot up the game first. So I'm going to show you the game without any mods. Okay, so this works for Steam and non-Steam version of the game. Okay, I'm using the non-Steam version of this game right now. So, um, yeah, uh, like I was saying, the Horns mod, that's just a demo mod that I did on the, my previous video. Uh, that lets you add horns to characters that aren't supposed to have horns, like the elf, human, stuff like that. So what I'll do, I'll show you the game without any mods and then I'm going to turn on the mods. I'm going to add script extender and then I'm going to add a mod that requires script extender. And then I'll you know, play the game again, show you the mods in action. So yeah, bear with me. If you like this video so far, make sure you hit the thumbs up. It really helps out the channel and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We talk a lot about gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck. Okay, so here's the game without any mods. So I want you to take note here at the bottom left, all right? It just says Larian Studios, all right? So if we have script extender um, enabled, it should have a notification here, all right? So yeah, take take note of that. Okay, let's start a new game. Balanced. Okay, I just want to go to the character creation to show you like what it's like without the horns mod. Okay. Okay, so this is the character creation. So we go to race. And all right, so this this character, I don't know how to pronounce that. Tierfling. This like these have mods. So edit appearance. Alright, let me move my camera. Kind of in the way. You can see here you've got, got horns. You can edit them. Right? Because this character has it. But if you choose human. Like humans aren't supposed to have horns, so you don't have the horns options here. All right? So that means the mod's not working, right? Because it's not enabled. Okay, so let me enable the mod. And do the script extender stuff. Okay, let me move my camera back. I don't really like it here. Kind of in my way. Alright. So now let's just move the mods over. Save order. So the mods should be active right now. And we also need script extender. So you can download it from um, Nexus Mods. Uh, but the better way is just go here, Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager, go to Tools, and then click here, Download and Extract Script Extender. Click Yes, and it should download automatically. It's just a simple file. All right, so it's successfully installed. Okay, it's like, it's a simple file. If you go to your game folder, go inside the bin folder, this is the file that it just downloaded, dwrite.dll. This is the script extender. 
and we need to like do the wine dll overrides for this dll so just go to your steam locate your game properties and in launch options add wine dll overrides equals um quotation marks d right okay and then equals n comma b then close the quotation marks and then space percentage command percentage i'll i'll put this um script this line in the description you can copy it if you want if you don't want to type it out okay that's done and then uh, let's download a mod that requires script um extender so here are all the mods let me find one that's easy to demonstrate um yeah, i think this one combat hp bonus so you get extra hp in combat yeah you get you get these extra extra okay so um yeah files and then let's get 1000 1000 so this mod requires script extender so if you don't have it you need to install it hit download load download let me just get this file okay i've got it go back to your mod manager and then go to file import mod and it's in my downloads folder i already have it right here so temporary hp bonus this is the mod okay right here and you've got this like exclamation mark it says missing script extender don't worry about it it's always going to be there even though you've installed it so don't worry about it it should work so just drag it over and then save order save order and then you got this error okay just click okay yeah it is what it is it, it you can't fix that okay now let's boot up the game oh actually i might have to boot up the game again in gaming mode all right let's 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 know let's not boot up the game with it alternate f4 i'm gonna go into gaming mode because um a lot of people like in the comments they say like it works in desktop mode but it doesn't work in gaming mode i i really don't really understand that because like it's the same basically so if it works in desktop mode it normally like it should work in gaming mode but yeah i do get some comments people saying you know it works in desktop mode and not working in gaming mode so yeah maybe i'll do the demonstration in gaming mode so yeah let me boot this up and um okay okay let me double check my game the properties yep i have the, the override yep okay working so let's launch the game so i'm in gaming mode right now yeah so i think i'll do better it's better off doing the demonstration in gaming mode to prevent any confusion because i can anticipate people saying oh it works in desktop mode but i can't get it to work in gaming mode yeah I'm not sure why that happens. But yeah, for me, normally it works in desktop mode and it works in gaming mode. So I think the first thing you want to see is the bottom left. If script extender is enabled. Just wait for it be patient make sure to hit the thumbs up button guys all right it's a good time for me to promote myself okay press any key to continue all right you can see here script extender loaded so yeah that's that's a good sign and then new game start game let's see if the horns are working first it should and then we we'll check out the hp bonus Okay, so human edit appearance. 
Okay, you can see horns. All right, let me move my camera. See here, horns. I can add horns to the human character. Yeah, that means the mod manager is working. You can add mods and the mods save and everything. It's good. All right, let's do let's do this one. Proceed, proceed, adventure evolve. Okay, now we need to um, check the HP bonus. Right, I think we need to go into combat quickly. <laughs> and yeah, and we can finish the video after doing that, I think. That's all I wanted to demonstrate. Space, skip. Let's see. Oh, I think I should use the controller. It's easier to navigate. Okay, so you can see uh, my character. I think that 14 is my HP. Um, I think I need to go inside combat before I get that bonus. That combat bonus. So let's go. Quickly. Okay, skip, skip, skip. Okay, I think we're in combat right now. Combat tutorial. Okay. Ah, uh, dismiss. Alright, how do I see? Okay. So, I do have that bonus, if you can see. Um, LT. LT. All right. So right here, you can see I've got that plus one thousand. No choice but to keep. Going. Um, can I maximize it? No, I can't. Very well. Nope. So yeah, but I think you can see it, right? The one thousand. You can see I've got that yellow one thousand. That's um, the HP bonus. That's the mod activated. So yeah, that's how you do it. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one later.